hi all welcome back so today in this session we are going to see about how much data we can query in Appian so this is a table that I am going to use this is a table related to salary data okay now in this table let's say I have uh, in this table I have 26,000 of rows see 26,346 to be precise so that much data is present and this data is related to you know like a uh, salary in various components like experience employment type job title salary in UST currency location company size as well various uh, fields are covered in this one here now if we consider about the record of our, of our record so in a record what is the limitation how much data we can query so here if you say I have created a salary data okay and message I have given 5000 it will return 5000 of rows easily it can return it okay now if I make it 5001 rows will it return this data so see there is an error I am not able to get the data uh, more than 5000 okay so what happens that when this kind of scenario occurs and we need more than that data then our you know like <laughs> usual approach is that we have to switch to a query entity okay uh, query entity and then query your data okay so this time I also created a QE as well query entity as well for the same set of data here so see as of now I am trying to query uh, this is a simple query entity okay I am trying to query 100 data it give me 100 data okay but the main purpose about this you know like video is that it doesn't matter in query entity you can you know like get all the data but we, should we get all the data or will Appian record let's say 1 million records are there here I have just 26,000 of rows so will it return all this data that's what we have to find it out so now I will gradually try to you know, like increase the size here initially I will go with one in the query entity see here test rule just one data I have got how see and we will try to figure out the time as well whenever we are giving the pacing okay each time we will try to find out like how much time it is taking to execute it so initially for one data it just took 12 milliseconds see here for uh, let's say you know like I will try to write it down okay one row it has taken here 12 milliseconds similarly I will now try to include 10 time of data I will query this time 12 to 24 almost it has tried to you know like a double this time I will try to query 100 data now again I have increased the paging to 10 times then what happens see the time it will gradually it is you know, time will also going to increase so now it has come down uh, you know like increase to 27 millisecond still it is you know like under our control not that much it is taking lot of time should we consider performance on that much we don't have to do now gradually I will go in the thousands range now this time you know like it will start to change see here <laughs> where as soon as you go in the thousand run now check the time here 419 millisecond it is taking 41 now now this is something to you know like think about because now the you know like uh, it is half a second almost okay now even though I will try to increase my one more side 10,000 in that uh, part we will go now it will try to query still it is able to query 10,000 data we are not able to get that much of data in our query record okay we are able to get the same you know like uh, 5000 only in our query record but we are able to get 10,000 as well it has taken in like so for 5000 it has taken 198 but here for 10,000 it is taking 1.1158 millisecond see here 1158 millisecond now from 20,000 I will you know like from 10,000 I will just go 20,000 only okay because I don't have million of data so that I can go into you know, like 1 lakh as well 100,000 I can't go so what I will do here is that I will try to query instead of 10,000 I will query 20,000 see now let's see what how much time it's oh great and not even about the time but it has given our the famous error in Appian like uh, it is the memory threshold memory threshold reach during output con uh, conversion so memory threshold error is happening and uh, what is this memory threshold see in Appian what happens that Appian can query only one MB of data 
okay it doesn't matter how much data you have in your database this bytes is nothing but 1 MB only so this bytes is equals to see here this number of bytes equal to 1 MB of data so it doesn't matter in your database table you have 1 million of records 2 million or doesn't matter it won't be able to query all the time even with the help of query entity why see here you are able to just query 15 a thousand three ninety seven rows of data only in this much of data only one MB threshold reach what is this one MB from where it is actually carry you know like uh, see for 15397 let's say I have given the exact same number and it will be able to show me the data easily no see here and it has taken 1.6 uh, milliseconds of data whatever is the size you are getting here that size is nothing but you know like everything is constituting this one MB of a space because whenever we try to query that it will take some space if I query this much of data then it will try to take this much space as well if I try to query more rows of data then it will try to take more a space as well so in Appian there is no guarantee that you can even get 5000 of data see here I am able to get 5000 data if I have more and more rows you know like in a single table only then what happened is that I it's not a guarantee that I will even get 5000 data if the threshold reached even with 500 or 1000 or even 2000 with data it will break at the same time okay you won't be able to go beyond that so 1 MB is the limit in app like that much time. in 1 MB how much rows you want if you can go with query entity then fine if you want to go with QR then also fine but you are you will only get 1 MB of data only at any given point of time so how to resolve this issue then obviously I'm not able to you know like I we won't be able to change the threshold limit to 2 MB or 5 MB of data that is given by default there is you know like one of the best practice in query entity is selection that is generally overlooked okay uh, by uh, whoever is not that much experience it gets overlooked this selection parameter like how much selection can improve our performance see I will try to add a selection field here a bank query selection and the field is job title alias is title here so I just want you know like a title here see a job title and I will just give it here I want to be okay now I will try to query this data same amount of data see with just one selection you know like uh, just see this time 290 millisecond so initially it was taking around 15397 15397 was uh, taking around one uh, okay 1 1.658 something like this millisecond it was now the same with selection I have passed now selection now it has taken 290 millisecond only so selection is uh, that much important it can improve your performance now it's even fine that we will be able to get 20,000 data as well see 20,000 I guess it is correct now now let's try to test it we will be even able to get 20,000 still the time is very less so if you need some data then you can like use selection but at any given point of time you know, like you are requiring that much data in the interface then everywhere wherever you call either you call it in a rule either you call in an interface in a process model everywhere add this additional time then everything will be will be you know like start to become slow if you query that much of data so generally like you know like if it is a database calculation extensive database calculation you want to do in Appian so try to avoid that try to use SQL for that even if you raise a support ticket in Appian they will also you know like tell you the same thing that uh, do extensive SQL calculation in database only then try to show the data in Appian Appian is not SQL okay so we can avoid such extensive calculations of uh, on a large set of data in Appian so let's try to see like whether I'm able to get 26,000 or not now test the data and uh, yeah great see even I am able to get 26,000 data and the time is still less so I can get you know like more and more data in uh, in our interface or expression rule anywhere we want it just with the help of one selection I pass and I'm able to get but it's not a good practice to pass such work on such large data sets multiple times <laughs> okay so 
try to avoid using the data use query rule as well limit your data if you need some extensive calculation try to do that shift to a database approach better it will be much better than appian one okay so that was all for now thank you